morning Aries welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles my name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we are going to take a look at a no contact situation between you and the person that you're currently not talking to this is a general love read if it resonates feel free to show some love towards the channel remember this reading can be good for Sun Moon Venus and rising Aryan placements cross watches Take the messages as they best resonate for you. You can reverse the roles in today's video. And if you feel that your messages are not here, check out your other placements or alternatively areas you can tune back in next time when I upload a new reading for your sign. All right, guys, we're going to get straight on into it. We're going to ask Spirit Angels and Guides, how does this person currently feel towards the sign of Aries? How does this person currently feel? Okay, first card, Queen of Cups. <clears throat> the eight of pentacles and the lovers Ooh. could be connecting to a water sign cancer scorpio pisces we also have gemini on the table at the bottom of the deck we have the six of pentacles hmm. okay so it looks like this person still has very strong feelings for you I can see here with the lovers that they still feel the connection to you even though right now you guys may not be in communication and you might not be talking. I feel like this person really would like to uh, perhaps work things out or restore the relationship here. The, the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles is here. I feel like this person deep down inside would really like to ultimately work things out here with you. Um, but it doesn't look like with the Queen of Cups here that this person is going to like initiate sort of action here. Can we clarify the Queen of Cups? Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here for this person's feelings? The Hierophant. <clears throat> you could be connecting to a Taurus with the Hierophant. Hmm. The Hierophant and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, it feels like to me, uh, Taurus, uh, Taurus, Aries, it feels like to me that this person has uh, very strong feelings for you. It does feel like right now, the reason why maybe they're not going to act on these emotions or act on these feelings is because with the Hierophant here, they're trying to maintain emotional stability because the Hierophant, this is stability. Mm. Or strength here. They're trying to find um, the emotional strength or they're trying to regain emotional strength or emotional stability here. Does that make sense? Hmm. Okay, let's see what their intentions are. <clears throat> Spirit angels and guides, what is this person's intentions when it comes to Aries? What do they want with Aries? Let's have a look. What does this person want with Aries? The Two of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the three of wands at the bottom of the deck we have the justice okay the justice would indicate that this person wants to balance things out here with you okay mm. 
They want to bring fairness and balance back to the situation. They want to iron out differences. Um, if there are differences here. It seems like with the Three of Wands, this person's waiting for you to make something right with them. That's what it feels like, Aries. It seems like this person's waiting for you to approach them to maybe make amends or make things right. Because the Two of Swords and the Four of Pentacles is here. Which to me is kind of almost like a I'm not doing anything energy. It's like a staying put energy. Hmm. Now with the Four of Pentacles, this person may be, they may be coming from a, a stubborn place. Okay, this may be stubborn thinking or stinking thinking. Okay, especially with the Two of Swords next to it. It's kind of like, you know what, it's, it's not up to me, it's up to Aries, I love Aries and I still have very strong feelings for Aries, but it, it's, not, it's not my fault, it's, I'm not to blame, um, it's not up to me, Aries should be the one that comes to me here. It's kind of like that kind of attitude or, yeah, I feel like they've got this kind of attitude here. Okay, let's clarify this Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for this person? <clears throat> and they're kind of holding on to this attitude or this way of being. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, look at that. King of Swords is here. You could be connecting to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Mm. This person believes, it's almost like with the King of Swords, this person believes that you should be the one uh, approaching them. Mm. Let's have a look at this justice. Why is the justice card here for what this person wants? The Knight of Wands. Okay, so yeah, see this is fire energy, Knight of Wands. So this person wants you to take action to make things right with them. I just I just said that, didn't I? Mm. They want you to chase them. They want you to to make it right with them. Okay. All right. Well, that's it's it's clear. And, and with the King of Swords, it's decided. This person has decided that that's how it's going to be. <clears throat> All right, let's, let's see what action this person will take. So that's their intentions. Spirit, what action will this person take towards Aries? What action will this person take towards Aries? Let's have a look, if any, if, if they take any action at all. Okay, the Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant, there's the Hierophant again, and the King of Swords. Yeah, guys, this person has decided that they're gonna do very little in this situation because the Page of Pentacles, this is minimal effort this is minimal um, action. 
you know, the king of swords, he's already decided that this is what he's going to do, he or she, whoever you're dealing with here. Mm. Yes. And with the Hierophant, this is someone who isn't budging. Okay, this is someone who isn't budging. This is someone who is very rooted in where they are. So this is some, see where this Hierophant is sitting? This is someone who is sitting and they're not moving from this position. Okay, what's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, the High Priestess. So for me, the High Priestess, this is Divine Feminine Energy. This is passive energy. This person is deciding to take a passive approach to less is more in this situation. The High Priestess is also, I'm choosing to remain quiet. I'm choosing to stay silent. It's almost like they're waiting for you to reach out to them. They're waiting for you to uh, initiate contact with them. Mm. Okay. Uh, do I want to clarify any of these cards? <coughs> Let's have a look at this King of Swords. I wouldn't mind just sort of looking at this King of Swords. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here for this person's action towards Aries? The Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. I am getting like a distant energy with this King of Swords. This is someone who is choosing to be distant or to be detached. Okay. I feel like what they what they're trying to do is they're trying to get you to apologize or come forward here with the Ace of Pentacles. Mm. that's what's happening here <clears throat> they want you to approach them with this offer with this apology okay so that's what I see here Aries what advice or guidance or last parting messages do you have Spirit for Aries who is dealing with this situation. Tell me more. Tell me more. Uh, the Eight of Wands. So Aries, um, the Eight of Wands suggests uh, communication. Okay, so in particular with this card, I always get... There may be something in particular that you want to discuss or talk about with this person. Okay, that I, I get that specifically. But I feel, yeah, I, I feel like there's, there's uh, communication is needed in this situation. You may want to express yourself to free yourself. Mm. But I feel like something needs to be said. Something needs to be discussed. Uh, communication is always the answer here. Let's, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. The Four of Wands. Okay, well, it looks like 
it looks like if if you want it the the problem can be solved here um, because the four of wands speaks to a rebuilding of the foundation of your connection and the only way that can be done is through the art of communication guys so if you want this relationship if you want things to work out between you and this person the only way to sort this out is through communication guys it's the only way a relationship can sustain anything or or it's the only way a relationship can work is is through talking speaking to one another so yeah that that's the message Aries let me know what you drew from those cards if you got a different message I'd love to hear what you have to say but otherwise that's what I have for you and I will see you in my next video bye guys